Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're playing Blue White Familiars once again, and we're playing the sick card Meeting of the Minds, potentially a zero mana draw to. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to maximize this by playing four Faithful, four Familiar, four Seagate Oracle. We're actually trimming one Mold Drifter because we have seven now draw to effects, uh, and Mold Drifter is the most expensive of them, given this one costs zero. So we're also going to be adding this new card, Cyber Cryptomancer, which has flash and backup one, and hexproof. So when it enters the battlefield, you can give another creature you control a hexproof and a 1-1 one, one counter. Uh, the hexproof only lasts until end of turn, but it's sort of a flash um, protection spell for your creature and that can't be interacted with. And additionally, it's also a decent win con. So instead of playing Sages or Denison in the main deck here in this test, we're going to be playing Cryptomancer so we can flicker Archaeomancer or Cryptomancer and make one of our creatures ginormous and tap with that creature to win the game. That uh, kind of solves the problem of not being able to win eventually. Hmm. I'm a little bit nervous about Mono Blue though. So let's just go ahead and uh, remember that we want a last breath here. I was considering two dispels for in the sideboard for. Um, for the mirror, but I think last breath is also mirror and fey fodder. So uh, once again, we're playing meeting in the mines. We're playing a bunch of creatures, uh, normal mana base, double flickers, and prohibit and counterspell. So we're just going to try to jam and uh, kind of crush and uh, show everybody how how crazy this meeting in the mines is. In the sideboard, four hydro, two negate, one dispel as our counterspells, mostly red counterspells. Still six anti-affinity and one more prismatic strands to bring in against the mono red menace that is everywhere with eight impulses. So let's go ahead and get in and we'll see you in the matches. Uh, check out the Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash uh, and like and subscribe and now we'll see you in the matches. Round one versus Edo 01. Last time I played them they were on burn so probably again. Look have fun. We are mulling because we don't have a land drop mulligan. This is a land drop, and we have prismatic strands. Potentially the counter spell is not good, but I think we can just get rid of the Ash Barons. We have a, another way to draw cards, too. So we have all of our colors. We have three mana. We have Seagate Oracle. Okay, and they are not on burn, so they're on uh, Cogate. And I'm glad that I pitched the got rid of the land because we drew another land here. <clears throat> they preordain. So versus Cogate, we're looking to counterspell the Guardian, gain a bunch of life, and just uh, eventually win the game. What do I want to do here? I think I'm just going to preordain and then play my tap land. I'll keep. I'm going to keep both of these. For the Chancery, pick up this and pass the turn. So if they have two blue mana open, then they're representing a counterspell. Right now they're tapped out of Counterspell or Spell Pierce. It's likely that we want to just play the Seagate Oracle to get some... Well, okay. Let's see. Familiar Snap. Seagate Oracle leave one open. I think I'm just going to play the Seagate Oracle here. Grab the Arcane Answer. And the next turn we can go Fam plus Snap. Play the Arcane Answer, get back the Snap. They're probably going to gate up the Cat, which they do. All right. We take the four. We have to be concerned about, uh, okay, so snapping the cat's not great here. Uh, so fam, snap the cat, untap these, play the arcane answer, grab the snap, we can snap this other cat, tap again, and here I'm just going to attack. We could play faithful into flicker the Seagate Oracle, but then we are in trouble if they have Journey to Nowhere. So how much do I care about that? I guess this turn I don't really care. Flicker, draw a card. So if we draw a Mom, we can cast it for free. We'll take the other Snap. Or Meeting, I mean. I'm fine with tapping out, I think. The, the things that we lose to here are them playing a Guardian would be a problem. Them playing a Journey to Nowhere. Looks like they have the Journey to Nowhere. Uh, we have additional arcane answers and stuff. They play the Guardian, actually. Okay. So, we can flicker here. We're not really concerned about the Guardian now that I have my life gain set up. So I just get the flicker back. 
and grab, I guess I'd take the faithful to, to do. Eventually they will have enough power on the table to like deal us 30 a turn. So we have to just keep gaining a ton of life. <clears throat> I did have the counterspell for the guardian, but I tapped off of it. And then they capitalized on the moment. Journey to nowhere. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to try to negate this with a snap. Hmm. So they have two cats in hand. They have one unknown. All right, we'll flicker. If either of them... Spell Pierce uh, eats either of these spells, but uh, looks like they didn't have the Spell Pierce. So we got rewarded here. Take the Prohibit over the land. And I think we're just set up to win now. Double Journey to Nowhere, okay. So we could have flickered the Archaeomancer in an island to leave up Snap. So that might have been a better plan. I didn't realize they had... Two journeys in hand. Powerful. Okay. Spiritane. Our plan is to eventually attack them, so it's going to be annoying. Land. We'll attack. Then I think I'm going to snap and replay the Ar the Seed Oracle. So, Faithful. Snap this. Leaves us uh, open mana to cast the Seed Oracle. Cast that. And then what do we draw? Meaning the Mines. All right, perfect. So let's just cast it, right? Draw, Ephemerate. Uh, so hmm. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass to their turn. If they gate the Sacred Cat, I can Ephemerate my Archaeomancer. I mean, uh, Seagate Oracle, and then block and flicker. Then I'm gonna gate up the Guardian. Sure. We have a bunch of life, so I'm not. Worried about it. The thing that I'm concerned about is the cat. Okay, try take this mole drifter. Let's see. I think I'm just gonna ephemerate right now, even though ephemerating the mole drifter is better. Grab this familiar. Just use my mana as fast as possible. Alright, what are we looking for? Ephemerate. I think I need an I'm looking for our cam answer. Hello. Ephemerate again. Uh, take a Seagate Oracle, just to have more on the board. So, land, familiar, Arcane Answer. Gonna grab the snap, snap the cat, and then we're going to go ahead and flick. I would flicker, there you go, Drifter Flicker, and then get the uh, Ephemerates, double Ephemerate to get back to Flicker. But they've had enough. Let's go to post board. So, we need to revoke existence for their journeys and their, um, it's early, sorry. Journey to Nowhere and Relic. <laughs> and I think that's probably just it. Bringing the revoke existence over the prismatic strands. Counterspell and Prohibit can all counter their Guardian, and the Saiba is a good win condition to close the game out. Wow, sorry. Let's go. So I'm looking at this hand, I have really good early game with the familiars, but I don't have any good mana. I can play the Meyer, cycle for an island, and then preordain, but that would be problematic into a spell pierce. So I'm going to mulligan. I think this is a lot better. We're going to keep, and then I'm actually going to, well, let's get rid of the ephemerate. Seems like the weakest card. We don't have anything to ephemerate. So we can turn to faithful, or we can turn to the revoke existence on a relic. We're going to grab the planes here and pass. If we draw another land, we can turn three, the meeting of the mines, off of the faithfuls. Okay, Cryptomancer. It does have a, a hex proof, so the opponent can't interact with it. We can save our creature from a removal spell. It'd be really funny if they attacked with their cat and we just Cryptomancer the uh, faithful and then block. Okay. Although it looks like they are maybe going to hold. All right, so let's play Faithful. They probably have Counterspell in hand. Chancery pick up the planes. Pass the turn. At least they're representing Counterspell right now. So they get to flip their Modern Age and uh, start the beats. We are going to outgain this for sure, unless they start having a Basilisk Gate. Basilisk Gate enters the battlefield. They journey to nowhere. 
Alright, I can revoke that later. Pass the turn. Okay, they're gonna gain a life. I didn't get to do my sweet play. Land, let's pass. I don't want to run the Cryptomancer out into the uh what's his face? Into the counter spell directly. Although I guess if I run it out. I'm gonna snap this token to make some mana. See if they do anything. I'm gonna counterspell the snap. Okay. So now I'm going to run my Cryptomancer and back up onto this guy. Pass the turn. Run a block. Your cat is dead. And we have a meeting of the minds. Cycle this. Grab an island, play that. We'll revoke existence, your journey to nowhere. And then cast Meeting of the Minds. I think I'm just gonna use well, you have to pay for it anyway. Okay, Meeting of the Minds that way. I'm used to the discount from the familiar. Okay. <clears throat> now we can also flicker the Saiba to get um, some extra Wow. To get like more protection spells so we can use Flicker as a negate. Alright, so I'm gonna pass. Well, we might have a counterspell. We have prohibit for their counterspell anyway. Alright, let's cast me in the mines. Draw two. They did get to attack us with their vector glider. Now we have a mole drifter. This is problematic in the face of a spell pierce. So I guess I'm gonna pass. I do want to do, go drifter ephemerate though. It is sick. So we end up drawing really fast into our drifters anyway, which makes it like seem to be not that big of a deal. Okay, six. Take some damage. Okay. Hmm. So I'm thinking about how I want to tap here. I'm going to leave open the two. Um, I was thinking if I draw into a chance, a chancery, like what do I want to pick up? And I would probably want to pick up the planes. But it's fine to probably to pick up an island. <clears throat> I want to leave open the white mana in case I draw a familiar or something. Ephemerate. And we drew some basics anyway, so it's all good. All right, faithful. <clears throat> wow. So we can play the faithful. And now attack. So they're going to go to 21. And then they'll probably just start gating up their sacred cat. We have a prohibit for a relic. That's the thing I'm the most concerned about, I think, right now. Okay, they make a big creature. I don't even know what it's at right now. Is it 8 or 9? 6, okay. No blocks. So next turn I will just block and flicker, I think. We get to Ephemerate, our Mold Drifter, draw a bunch of cards. Looking for a familiar. Let's play the Seagate Oracle. Still looking for a familiar. I'm tapping the planes here. We find a snap, so that's good. The Chancery. Okay, pick this up. And I think I'm gonna. We have nothing in hand. Let's attack here. God Pharaoh's Faithful can attack. Who knew? Let's just pass. Discarding the planes. I have a preordain. But I still don't have to attack. I don't, still don't have to block. Uh, so I might just still not do that. I have four mana open though. I guess I could snap the Cryptomancer and then uh, flicker the Moldrifter and the Seagate Oracle. That seems like a good play. We still have mana open to cast the Prohibit. They discard a Smash to Dust, which would have been used on our Familiar. We're going to want the Cryptomancer either back in hand or back on the battlefield eventually anyway, so... Okay, undo. Well, I guess the first thing I want to do is snap the Crypto. Gain a bunch of life. Yep. Okay. We're going to block. Uh huh. Looker here. If they have counterspell, we have prohibit. <clears throat> Looks like they don't have counterspell. So we want to draw blindly with the Moldrifter first and then Seagate Oracle. That way we can draw into the Meeting of the Minds like that. Or like we, we can use our uh, Seagate Oracle to get as much card selection as possible. Draw two again. Hello, free spells. Okay. And then I'm going to cycle, grab the planes out of the deck, which I will discard later. All right. <clears throat> so we have Ephemerate in Exile. Let's go Familiar. 
with an island uh, arcane answer. We're going to grab the ephemerate. We can ephemerate, snap their cat, buy cat. Okay. Lay out a Seagate Oracle. Just adding to the board now. Okay, I don't need the Faithful anymore. Preordain's probably fine. Seagate Oracle again. Familiar. So that gives us infinite life. And let's attack. We just have to go to the next turn. And then we can start flickering to attack with the Cryptomancer guys. That's going to be cool. <clears throat> so I'm going to discard the planes, like I said. And then I guess EOT or end step, I'm going to flash in the Cryptomancer to add power to one of my faithfuls. Well, I don't know. Maybe the Seagate Oracle. <clears throat> so they get the value from the Modern Age by discarding the Sacred Cat, which I did give to them, but I wanted the mana back. <clears throat> Okay, they gate gate the vector glider. Uh, it doesn't really matter whatsoever at this point. Okay, get in. So guarding the guild pack, I cannot counter now. That's no big deal. They stake a cat. So we Saiba. And it looks like I'm gonna just add power to the Moldrifter. And I will cycle for an island. Big old Moldrifter time. Ephemerate the Archaemancer. Let's move the stack up here and the triggered abilities down here so we are all set. Uh, play the familiar. Seeking Oracle. It's kind of annoying with the flip with the triggers. It's causing me a lot of time loss, but it's fine. And I guess let's start snapping. Well, I, I do need those, right? Uh, Preordain. Another Moldrifter. So bottom of the Preordain, top of the Moldrifter. We can snap the cat here. On tap, on tap. Uh, cast a drifter. Oh, it's a GG. GG. I was so concentrating on what I was doing. <laughs> we got there. We do another round. Let's go. Round two versus hate more. What and who are they hating more? Uh, I'm going to keep. The problem here is that we don't have a third land or a way to draw into it, but we do have a Faithful and a Cryptomancer. We can flash in the Cryptomancer to block a token. We can also just protect the Faithful that way. We are unhappy about seeing Ponza. That stinks a lot. Oh man. We basically don't have a way to not have this Chancery die. I might just... Uh, skip this matchup entirely, but maybe it's fun for people to see me get trashed. Play Wild Growth into Arbor Elf. Into Utopia Sprawl. I wish people wouldn't play this deck. Let's just attack and see if they block. No blocks. Give them a nice target for their uh, land destruction. Wow. So weird. Didn't see it coming. Alright, concede. We could actually have cast that. No, we couldn't. One, two, three. We have negate. And we have hydroblast. Strands doesn't matter. Revoke could matter. Last breath might matter. I doubt it. Get rid of the faithfuls. Um, prohibit's not very good. It can counter their, their stuff eventually. I don't think I need the Saiba. So what can I get rid of? One hydro. One prohibit. Revoke existence for their land and chance. All right, we're on the play. Okay, we're keeping, we have a turn to negate. So we can counter their first land destruction spell, but we don't have anything else after that going on. Maybe it'll work out. I discovered what hate more hates, and it's lands. They hate all the lands. <clears throat> they go tap land. Land go. Racer's ring. Okay. They do nothing. We're hoping to draw land, basically. Draw land, yay! Grab an island. Now our next best uh, card off the top would probably be Seagate Oracle into a land, I guess. Looks like they don't have a land. They're going to Utopia Sprawl, and we're just going to counter it. 
Wild growth. We are looking for card draw. There's a Seagate Oracle. Lanes is going to go bye bye here. And we'll take the snap. That way, if we draw into a uh, Chancery, we can snap and then replay the Seagate Oracle. Or we can snap their Arbor Elf or whatever. Probably kill my planes. Oh my god, that's great for me. <laughs> <laughs> that I think was worth that I think was worth playing the match out. They just don't rain their own land by this click. Worth it. They showed a stone rain, so we're bringing in the hydroblast, cutting out rogue existence and passing, or just the uh, going with that. I can't believe they did that. That's hilarious. Oh my god. <clears throat> so we have hydroblast and negate. That's uh, going to be what we have to do. Keep it. We're just hoping that if they have a turn 2 land destruction spell, it's the uh, Stone Rain, not a Thermokarst. Wild Growth. Land, pass the turn. Comes the Thermokarst. That was fun. I enjoyed my time. Pass the turn. They're going to kill my other land. Nope, they play a land or a Visionary. Okay. Pass the turn. Got me an island. Let's see if they have another Ponza spell. Somehow they don't. They could just cast the uh, initiative here, though, and we'd be dead. They are just going to do nothing. Well, they have like four lands in hand. Here comes the initiative. No. They're really thinking this one through as if it's a hard decision. Blow up the island. You can do it. <clears throat> wow. They did it. Unreal. I like to uh, heckle my pawns opponents. You got this opponent. I believe in you. Get rid of counterspell. So likely they play the pirate here. Boarding party, as expected. We cascade into an acid moss and we go to round three. Lame. Round three versus Ramaro Marone. We're on the draw. So, our hand is not really keepable. We've got the lands and interaction, but no draw spells, so I'm going to chip it. Mulligan. Uh, unfortunate. We're mulligan again. Okay, keep. We have to put back two cards. So, one, two. Keep our card draw and our card advantage with the bounce land, and try to not pair into Ponza again. Island. Well... Play into a spell pierce, but what are you going to do? Alright, they don't have it. We don't know what they're up against, but usually blue decks we want the faithful versus. If they're familiars, we don't want the faithful, but otherwise we do. They might just be on, like, terror or something. They're going to hold up. Oh, come on! Seriously? Okay, so this is another land destruction deck. That's really frustrating. Oh my god. Wow. They're going to ice our land. That's fine. I still get to make a land drop. Thank you. Perfect. I just want to make land drops. The way this deck works that our opponent is on is they just keep bouncing our lands until we have none left and they play Flare and Terror and kill us. They are working on playing... Um... Oh my god, this is so frustrating. Okay, at least we get a... See you or going to the battlefield. More islands. This is so ridiculous. Ugh. Okay. Play land. They hoodwink our island. So we're looking to draw into maybe Ash Barons to get the familiar into play. Freaking killing me. Pass the turn. Grab the planes and attack. Pass the turn again. One thing we can do is we can play Ghosty Flicker in response to the the land denial, and then we can keep that on the table, but we don't have a flicker right now. We do finally have our planes in play. The Chancery is a huge liability here. Can't believe we had to pay her versus this. I'm so salty. Okay, and they are gonna bounce my planes. What? Familiar. That's a turn attack. So, we're not in a terrible spot now. We still have any lands in play. 
They're going to cast a tear. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they're going to they're going to bounce my land again. So they could potentially have the Sulfa Terra here to make it so I can't play land this turn. Turf wound. Opponents can't play lands. All right, send. Pass the turn. We're going to discard the Chancery and an island. This is super boring. They they hoodwinked my other land. They're going to turf wound me again. Oh my god. Attack. We discard an island. And faithful. Pass the turn. I can't believe this deck is popular now. It's so crazy. Okay. They're turf wound me again. Are they planning on doing anything? They're just like making my day suck. All right. Attack. Get rid of the Mold Drifter. They're paying three mana for something. Four mana. This is so unbelievably frustrating. All right, we're just going to concede the game. All right, we bring in all of our... Uh, oops. All of our counters. Getting rid of the Faithfuls and the Strands. Saiba I don't think I need. We can potentially cut a Mold Drifter. Maybe the Snap. The Snap doesn't interact with the Terror very well, so we'll cut that. Absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> We're going to be on the play. We're looking for having a negate or a prohibit in hand. We just make land drops and counter their spells until we do stuff. God. All right, we are going to play first. Oh, man. I think I have Mulligan. We don't have any counters. All right, I'll keep this. Put back the snap. Play the Mortuary Mire first. So we're playing the Mortuary Mire first so that we can hold a Prohibit. So we're playing against a Land Denial player who is also playing at breakneck slow speeds, which is extra tilting for me. Super duper tilt. That's okay. We're going to get through it. Land pass. We're probably going to have to play our Chancer here. Yeah, here comes the counter spell for me. No thanks. Cleared in, looking for an island. Okay, meeting the mines. Well, it doesn't matter because I need the island in play. Play this. So they can boomerang my land now if they want. They just play a red source. All right, I'm going to play the Chancery, picking up the island so that I can play an untapped land next turn. I have Prohibit for boomerang. I have Hydroblast for the Sulfaterra counter. And they're, I guess, going to Pyroblast me. Instead, they active Volcano my island. And we don't have anything going on, so I'm just going to Seagate Oracle. Uh, take the Meaning of the Mines, pass the turn. Four cards in hand for the opponent. They're going to play Aven Fogbringer. Bouncing my Chancery. Okay. No, stop! Stop! Let's see, get Oracle looking for more lands or counter spells, like the Ash Barons. Anything that's just one land in play. Chancery is really not great right now. But we can cast the Meaning of the Mines by tapping our two Seagate Oracles and two lands. <sighs> We're going to bounce my land. What? Right now, we're head on board. I'm just going to cast this now while I can. We'll discard Chancery and Ash Barons. Or just Chancery. This deck looks like it will just completely fold to any sort of uh, red deck. We found a Flicker. So if we can get three lands in play, we can protect our lands with the Flicker. Discard an Island. And an Island. I'm so sad. So they finally cast a Terror. Plays a land. It's in for one, or for two. Yep. Let's see if they have a Sulfa Terra again. Upkeep stop with nothing going on. Pass the turn. <sighs> We're going to take seven. Not great. They miss on the attack for some reason. But I'll take it. I'm going to draw two. I'm so sad. Now we're up versus Vanga, who's been playing uh, Terror and stuff like that. 
Eh, I think I'm going to keep this. We don't have any card draw once again, but we have uh, turn two fam, and that has a high uh, high value, especially if they're on something like uh, mono blue or some terror deck. Start running off familiars. If they are on uh, Ponza, I will probably just concede and just move on. All I want to do is play the game a little bit, not sit here waiting. Our opponent is on Mono Red. Play Chain Lightning, so that's fine. I'm going to play out my Sunscape Familiar. It could eat a Bolt here. If it doesn't eat a Bolt, like if they play a creature, we can go uh, Faithful Snap Seed Oracle and set up a lot of blocks as well as gain life. A chain lightning my creature. That's okay, we have more. <clears throat> Voldaren Epicure. Play another. So we can go Chancery pick up this. Snap. I think I'm just going to go Familiar. Familiar pick up the planes. Just make them uh, use their. Make the Familiar gain me some life, and then I'll have the Faithful in play to gain more life. <clears throat> okay, gain three for two mana. They're on red black. Chain lightnings and lightning bolts. I don't know what they're up to. Maybe that's for angler and stuff. Some sort of red black burn. It's definitely worse than uh, mono red. Faithful into Seagate Oracle. And then we can play Seagate Oracle again. The only thing is with. Uh, okay, I'll take the meeting. That's a turn. So next turn we can go Seagate Oracle into Meeting of the Mines. Against their deck, <clears throat> we're a little bit concerned about the flyer, the 2-2 two, two flyer for one, because that will beat us down eventually. So our deck has all these ground blockers now and no flying blockers. And they're just casting a Faithless Looting and trying to figure out what to discard. So they end up uh, discarding Faithless, or a Great Furnace and a Fiery Temper, and they shoot us in the face. No, they, they actually shoot the Seagate Oracle. Okay. So I cannot cast my meeting now. One card in hand for the opponent. They play Scrapwork Mutt. They cannot discard a card. Just cast the Seagate Oracle. I'm not planning on uh, killing this Scrapwork Mutt, but I'll block the other creatures. Take the Ephemerate. Pass the turn. We've lost two Familiars and a Seagate Oracle. They're going to loot again. Yep. Let's see what they discard. They just discard two lands. One card in hand for the opponent. They Galvanic Blast my creature. Yeah, that's not great. I'll get rid of this. Pass a turn. Let's attack and Ephemerate. Get in. Ephemerate. Get my blocker back. Another Faithful. Land. Play the Faithful. We'll snap this Mutt. Now we can play the Meaning of the Mines plus Snap. Pass the turn. They can also Blood Token and discard their, their Mutt for value. But they're just going to cast it. So they get to Rummage. They discard an Epicure. We will cast the Meaning of the Mines. Hmm. Actually, let's just... Hmm. Snap this. Hmm. I don't really know what I want to do here. Let's cast a meeting of the mines. And now I can prohibit that. It was nice to have that instant speed card draw there. That was nice. And they scoop it up. Okay. <laughs> Finally a match we can win. I think we do want the prismatic strands. The cryptomancer seems decent. Counter spell I'm not really sure about. I'd rather have the negates, I think. Because they have black and red spells. But the prohibit's not very good, because everything costs three or more. So maybe we do bring back in the counterspell or the hydroblasts. Hydroblasts. Get rid of ephemerate familiar or cam answer, just for more counters. Three hydros, two negates, some strands. I wonder if this cryptomancer is good or not. It keeps my creatures alive. Let's do it that way. It's definitely a lot harder to sideboard versus this uh Black red deck, then versus the mono red deck. Let's mull. Guess we're keeping this. Get rid of one familiar. And we can turn three, play the familiar with the Saiba to keep the familiar alive. 
And we have the meaning of the minds to redraw our stuff, so that's great. Trying to fade any land destruction. So our opponent plays a bridge and nothing. Chancery. We have to play the Chancery out, pick up our Ash Barons, and cycle for an island. So your turn. A Faithless Looting. They can only cast one of the spells that they draw. So if they cast something like... If they cast the Tutu Flyer, I'll go Familiar Snap, but they have an Alms of the Vein. All right. And a Mountain. So what's nice about the Cryptomancer here is that if they use a Bolt on the Familiar, the Cryptomancer will put it out of Bolt range. But it'll, it can still get eaten by a uh, Galvanic. Chain Lightning, so we Cryptomancer. They have to kill it in response, right? Okay, well we have a 1-2 now. Pass. Now we can Faithful. I think I'm going to Preordain. If I find a land... Alright. Did not find the land that I wanted. Cumancer is good though. Let's play the Chancery. We can just attack for 1. <clears throat> So on this next turn, we can, I don't know, play, we can snap something, play Meeting of the Minds, get Meeting of the Minds back with the Arcade Mancer. Kitchen Imp, Fire Temper. So we're going to get rid of the Kitchen Imp for a turn with the snap. They Fiery Temper us. Gets in for two. What's this to 13? We snap this. And tap, and tap. Cast Meeting of the Minds. Draw two. Another meeting in the mines, so we go ahead and cast the Arcane Answer, get back the meeting, just let, want those free spells and pass the turn. Now if they want to cast their imp, they have to looting again, and if they're looting with just one mana open, we can Hydroblast it. So the vampires kiss us, so they can use the blood token next turn to get their creature out. Let's Broker's Hideout, grab an island, and Preordain. Really am looking for a familiar. I don't want lands right now. Guess I can pre in again. They're gonna gal blast. Uh going to flicker these two. Let's flicker cost three. This is for you, Piotr. Okay. Get back the flicker. Back up on the faithful. Okay. And they scooped that. That's great. All right. Let's go to round five and try to close this out. Round five. I think we're versus burn. Or we have been versus burn when I'm playing against this person in part. Four, and it looks like yes. Land Swiss Sphere. So we are going to go land planes. Land grab a planes. Turn two, snap, play familiar, I think. Pass. They make their land drop. Gets in for one. Plays a Thermo Alchemist. So this is regular burn. Definitely want to snap the Thermo. Land. Snap the Thermo Alchemist. And tap on tap. We will pass the turn. It's important to keep the Thermo Alchemist off the table, so I'm going to just lean on Preordain. I mean, uh, countering it. That's what I meant to say. So any untapped land would be safety. Of, well, not safety, but we could play the Familiar. Otherwise, we're going to have to Preordain. And their deck is much weaker to Hydroblast than... Okay. Rift Bolt. Hmm. Let's Preordain. Kind of looking for Faithfuls. Find a Snap. So let's top, top. Play the land. And I'm going to yield until blocks. And see if they spew some uh, cards trying to pump the Swiss Spear. I can Snap the Swiss Spear. Uh, setting up the yield until blocks makes them think that I'm potentially F6 here. And on the next turn, we can play the Faithful, or the Familiar, and then keep it alive with the Ghostly Flicker. The Lava Spike us. I'm just going to spew their hand. Needle Drop. Well, I'm certainly not about to take four here, so... snap a -doo. All right, pass the turn. <clears throat> they replay the Swiss Spear. Makes sense, makes sense. Land, Familiar. If they can't kill the Familiar, I can uh, cast Meeting of the Minds with uh, two and tapping the Familiar. I think it's very likely that we're going to have to flicker it. Flicker the Familiar, holding up Ephemerate. 
We still take three from the Searing Blaze. I don't understand why, but it always works that way. It's a rules question. So we get a seven. A chain Lightning face. Okay. We're not going to pay. And we will block and just ephemerate pass the turn. If we get a Faithful, we could do some good stuff, but we'd have to get that off the top. We'll cast it, even though it doesn't matter. Let's see what we draw. Wow, called it. That's nice. So let's Meeting in the Mines. Leaving up the Faithful as a blocker. We get a 5. Another Faithful. Not great. Pass the turn. We're just going to block with the Faithful. They have nothing, so we play Faithful. And now we get to go to 7. Turning the corner. Seagate Oracle. Alright. I really want to do the... There's some cool tricks. Like, you could, at this point, with the trick on the stack, cast Meeting of the Mines, and then get more value from the Seagate Oracle. Let's take the Arcane Answer. Pass the turn. We have Ghosty Flicker. So, we're very close to infinite life. Play Familiar, grab the Flicker. Kind of depends on that, them not having interaction, though. They Lava Spike us. I'd be surprised if they had Lethal here, since they didn't before. Oh, maybe they needed to activate, like, a Needle Drop or something. They just have Fire Blast. Weird. Okay. Dramatic Strands. All of these. Negate is probably better than Counterspell, specifically. Uh, I don't think the Saiba is good here. Ephemerate. Arcane Answer. And then usually I cut Familiar as well. We'll get rid of a Prohibit. Maybe both Prohibits. I'm just going to cut both uh, Ephemerates. I want the, the blue spells. We would like to play first. We have a Hydroblast, but nothing else. So we can Hydroblast a Swift Spear. I'm going to Mulligan. Alright, this is a little bit better, I think. We got to get rid of the Arcane Answer. Land. And then pass. We're going to yield until their end step. Grab our uh, planes. No turn one Swift Spear? Thank you. Okay. So I'm looking for a cantrip. I think I'm going to play the Faithful here. If they want, they can spend six burn on it. Uh, the worst case scenario for me would be uh, Rift Bolt into Needle Drop. They go face. Wow, they could have Rift Bolt Needle Dropped my Faithful to kill it, but they went Rift Bolt Needle Drop face. Interesting. Another Rift Bolt. Okay, I'll pass. We can... I think I'm just going to take it. Okay. And Hydroblast. Pass the turn. Find a Preordain. Looking for an island. It's definitely important to keep the Thermos off the table. Oh man. I'm going to bottom both. We really need to land. No attacks. They could have another Thermo Alchemist here. So it used to be that uh, Burn was a very good matchup because we could afford to play even up to six red blast or blue blasts. Um, I had to keep kind of sketchy hand here, obviously. I really thought we were going to get the mana. The other thing I could have done was keep the familiar and then play that, and then like two turns from now try to cast Meeting of the Mines, but I feel like that's worse than just trying to get a land off the top. Their opponent goes land, molten rain, on their own land. Come on. This is the second time this happened this league. <laughs> Are they going to concede as well? What is going on? Is, is the interface broken? <laughs> I can't believe that. Wow. Okay, shame concede. Wow. It's there on molten rains, which makes me... Make note. I guess counterspell is better than prohibit then. Submit. Maybe I cut one strands for the familiar. Okay, that's not a good hand. It's so close. Hydroblast. But we need one extra more four land in hand. Okay. Keep. Put back familiar. Alright, so land, turn two, preordain. I'm gonna put back the chancery. And this is because they showed me molten rain. Lava Spike. Kabam. 
play the faithful, pass the turn. You have double familiar now. So we're going to turn two preordained, looking for lands. Then we can play familiar, familiar, mold drifter, hopefully. Land. They're going to lightning bolt into another lightning bolt, skewer. So they've used a bunch of resources, put us to 11. We need to get to 13 to uh, get past their bolts, basically. Preordain, we're looking for lands, obviously. Hydroblast, Seagate, Oracle. I'm just bottoming these because I need lands. Find another Hydroblast. So that's not the worst if I'm going to not draw land because that trades for four damage, basically. Here comes the Molten Rain. No, a Rift Bolt. Okay. Uh, play out the Familiar. So if they have four bolts right now, we're dead. One. Okay, they just had one bolt. Good. Seagate Oracle holding up uh, Negate and Hydroblast. They're using Red Blasts. Uh, negate, I guess. So if that had been a Lightning Bolt, we would have died. We would have been dead. But instead, they're just bringing in Pyroblasts. This is so. If you're playing Burn, first of all, this would. If both of these were Bolts, we would have been at three right now. And then Fire Blast would have killed us. Instead, they brought in Red Blast, which they can't even cast. So if, they, if you have Thermo Alchemist in play, you want to have Pyroblast, so you can just activate the Thermo Alchemist for a ping. I think mistakes were made. All right. Draw. They do nothing. Probably have four more Hydro Bl <laughs> Red Blast in hand. Okay, we're going to Preordain. And then I'm pr planning on casting the Moldrifter with the Hydroblast as a counter spell, but they're just going to scoop it up. All right, that's fine. This was a strange league. Not a lot can be said from the results here. We beat Burn and Burn, I think. I don't even remember what we played against. Let's go here. So this is Red Black Burn, Red Burn. I think that was... I don't remember what the first match was. I'm so sorry. I, th these ones just fried my brain. Double Ponza, come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go back to the list. I think it's interesting to play Saibo here. Um, you could also just be greedy and only rely on Prohibit Counterspell and then play another Moldrifter. I don't know. I think the problem that I've had is that I want more early game plays and like you're risking just like getting mana hose by not having more one and two drops. So I don't really know how to build that or around that right now, but we'll see. We'll see moving forward. It's been fun. And I'll see you in the next video.